Welcome everyone to Dude and Little Dude's Toy Reviews. My name is Alex and with me I have Roman. Today we're going to continue the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Micro Mutant Reviews for the Nickelodeon 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. This series of course is created by Playmates Toys. As I stated in my previous videos, this is Playmates Toys' Mini Mutant series spinoff from 1994. So for those of you that remember back in the late 80s and early 90s, Mighty Max and Polly Pocket were a big craze back in the day. It was so fun and easy to play with these little micro figures that came in little play sets that you can literally fit in your pocket and carry with you wherever you went. Aside from the transformable character heads that turned into play sets, Playmates also had these vehicles that opened up. If you're interested in learning more about the Mini Mutant series, check out a good source, turtlepedia.wikia.com. It has all kinds of great articles and reviews for a lot of the collection of these toys. So my little dude and I are really excited to bring to you this toy today. So we're going to check out the Sweeper Ops Vehicle playset. This is brand new. We just got this from Toys R Us. It's about $39.99 plus tax. Now that is a little higher than what we're accustomed to paying for the Turtles Micro Mutant series. We did have some Toys R Us dollars that we were able to put towards this, so for us it was worthwhile. But as we do this review, you'll see for yourself whether or not this is something you want to pick up on your own. Here's everything that comes in the package included with the vehicle and its accessories. You'll also get these three micro figures, which includes Leo and his two Kurosawas or Katanas, Raph with his two size, and Shredder. You'll also get two sheets of stickers to decorate the vehicle with, and of course you'll get the instruction sheet so that you know how to put everything together. Here's a closer look at the three micro figures themselves. The only thing we were a little bit bummed about was that they were missing some paint uh, decoration. So for example, on the belt, you'll notice Leo doesn't really have his belt uh, painted in along with Raph. And Raph, if you look at his teeth, it's just green teeth, which I guess he could either be eating a lot of spinach or maybe they messed up, I don't know. But either way, uh, the figures do move the same way as in my previous reviews. The legs move in unison as do the arms, and that's about it. No head movement, no torso movement. Now before my little dude ravishes this toy, I wanted to take the opportunity to kind of show you this clip when I opened this playset for the first time. You can see the packaging is pretty well done. Uh, just keep in mind that as you open this for the first time, the little boxes on the side, there are things in them, so make sure that you take them out. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, this is a huge playset for what's supposedly considered for the Micro Mutants. Of course, this is very unique because they did a cross uh, between a vehicle that's supposed to work with the basic figures with the Micro Mutant series as well. So as you can see, there's not really much you need to assemble, which is really nice. They pretty much put everything uh, together for you ready to go ahead and play right out of the box. All you have to really do is just put on just a few pieces like the front part of the sweeper, uh, maybe take off uh, some of the little bands. The two little red brushes that you see down here, they do spin. Um, and the wheels kind of spin in unison as well, uh, front ones and back ones. But uh, they don't do much else other than that. But the real nice feature is the, you can see a green belt that kind of has teeth to it. I'll show you in a bit how this moves. You can see that I'm just moving it uh, back and forth here. But there's a real cool feature that involves the gray sewer lid wheels that attach to the front of this because you'll need the braces um, uh, and a, you need to attach them in a certain way so that it works with the front wheel. So as it grips the floor, the green belt will move along with the bristles as it sweeps up whatever is caught in its way. Uh, it's very uh, ru like rubberized. It's uh, pretty sturdy. Um, I have no complaints. It doesn't feel like a cheap quality toy. It's very well uh, built and put together. So we're pretty happy about this. So 
So here you can kind of see that I'm stretching out the play set. Um, really, again, no complaints on it. I'm very happy with how it's built. It doesn't feel cheap, um, in my opinion. It feels like it's a good thickness and and um, it's got a lot of screws and pieces into it they put a lot of attention and detail to this product so i'm very happy with it um, i know my little guy's very rough with the toys so this makes it worthwhile for me And here we have the little dude opening the playset for the first time. Of course, the first thing he goes for is the sweeper wheels that go in the front. He just loves rolling this thing back and forth. Uh, the next thing that we have here is the roof of the jail cell. Um, so it snaps on uh, via pegs. There's four little pegs on each corner. And what's really nice about it, it's not difficult to put in or, or anything like that. Uh, and uh, the ladder, or the, excuse me, the ramp itself, it comes already uh, put together so you don't really have to assemble it all you need to do is just fold it out and uh, snap it in place uh, what's really nice again is that this playset interacts with the other toy so if you have the micro mutants vehicle play sets with this absolutely you can go ahead and uh, integrate that with this so I want to show you the mechanics of how the wheel works. As you notice that each side has a specific bracket that fits a particular peg. One is larger than the other, so just make sure that you have the correct bracket on each side of the sewer lid wheels. Once you have that in place, align the square peg on top of the small circular peg. Um, you'll notice that here on each side, it'll match on the vehicle itself. You just need to make sure that you place them in the right order because the square peg holds it in place. The round one is what helps once you'll notice here that the wheels as they um, rotate, that's what helps the belt move so that it can sweep the figures into the playset itself. So here you'll notice Roman is just sweeping them forward. Um, I don't have a whole lot of table space, so I have to move it back. But that's the beauty of the belt itself. You can see that the figure's caught on the teeth of the belt. The more you move it, the further in the toys will go. Um, again, here, here's a better example. You'll see the sweeper literally just picking up all the pieces. And here's an inside shot where you can see the belt. Um, as the wheels move in the front, the belt moves as well and puts the figures into the little jail portion. These are a few pictures when the sticker decals are completely done. Just a quick tip, it is mentioned in the instructions, but just make sure that you put the sticker decals on first and then assemble all the pieces together. So we've already shown you the main feature of this vehicle playset. Just to go into a little bit more detail of what else this has to offer, again, here is the fold-out ramp, which we've already reviewed before. But here's an inside look at what um, everything comes with. So you can see that there are little extension bridges uh, from the top of the jail cell. There's actually three of them, one that goes up to the rooftop of the front cab and then the two sides. Um, the platforms are pretty sturdy. Um, they have the sticker decals on them, as you can see, and the sewer lid pops down, which is kind of a, another fun feature. Um, here you can see the figures kind of standing in place. Um, there, again, there's a lot of room. You can put a lot of your other little micro figures into this playset as well. So it makes it for, you know, uh, a fun activity just to use your imagination. Looking on the left side from behind the vehicle playset, you'll see the sticker decals a little closely. You'll see Krang on the left, Shredder in the middle, and a picture of the city on the right. On the opposite side, we get another picture of a city along with some more detailed background um, images and a map on the bottom right hand corner. What's unique about this side is that there's a hatch that pops open. Finally, here we can do a comparison between the two figures, the micro size and the basic figure. So this is how this playset is unique. It's uh, supposed to be a combination of being able to use the two figures together on this one playset. We've already kind of played with the micro figure. This is how Leo in particular uh, fits in his car seat. He has two control levers which fit perfectly into his hands on both left and right sides. And what's really cool is that there are little tiny pegs that fit for the micro figure so you can uh, have them ride along with Leo or any other figure that fits here.
Here's a shot of what it looks like when you close the front cap. No head space problems or anything like that. Everything fits just fine. So that just wraps it up for us. We had a lot of fun putting this together. As you can see, it's not that difficult. Uh, uh, the little dude is only three and he's having a blast. Um, what's nice is it's very sturdy, so it's pretty much little dude proof. Um, not only are you limited to, you're not actually just limited to sweeping up micro figures, you can do all kinds of things too. Sweep up other little toys. Um, here you can see he's sweeping up the other uh, cars that come in this series, which is kind of cool. Um, it gets stuck just a little bit, but it actually goes in pretty nicely uh, for the most part. So again, so many ways you can play with this. I'm sure there's quite a few other features that we may have missed that you can probably just, you know, it's open to your imagination. You can really use, um, you know, every little part and, and uh, uh, nook and cranny of this little play set and uh, you know make what you will of it but again um, we had a lot of fun putting this together we want to thank you guys for checking out our channel and watching us and we hope to see you in the near future